everyone welcome to my channel I'm Savannah welcome back today I have a very awesome interesting video for you guys and it is going to be my military school experience from a female point of view and if you are a guy feel free to still watch this because there is going to be a lot of like good advice in this video so <laughs> I don't see why you wouldn't continue to watch it right so today you already know what's going on by the title, by the thumbnail, by whatever it is. I'm going to tell you guys what it is like to be at a military school. So let me just start from the beginning. Um, I am from Wisconsin, okay? And I went to New Mexico to a military school. Yes, I know. Um, I wasn't a bad child, okay? Don't get it confused. You know there's just a lot of things that happen in your life and it's for the best and I am so happy it was one of the best decisions that I ever made to go to military school and it completely changed my life and I graduated there from high school and you know I did something that no one in my family has done which is move away you know when you are like I believe I was 15 yeah I was 15 years old 15 year old girl okay little girl moving across the country to go to a military school and um, if you've ever seen Cadet Kelly it's not that easy but if you are a strong willed strong minded if you are a strong minded person if you have ambition if you even have the slightest amount of just you want to you know adventure anything any reason if you have one little reason I suggest that you go to military school and if you don't like if you don't want to work hard if you don't want to like do something at all with your life just click off this video because this is for people who want to do something and who want to change their life because sometimes the only thing that you could do to change your life is to basically metaphorically jump off a cliff and if you fly you fly so so if you want to know what it is, not just from someone who worked there, but from someone who actually went to a school in New Mexico, that's a military school, keep on watching. So basically, before you even go to this school, I do think that it's important to have some like maturity because if you aren't mature, you know, just like with any person in high school in general, it's going to be really hard for you because you're going to like maybe fall into the wrong groups. You're going to let people use you, anything like that. I suggest that, you know, you work on yourself a little bit beforehand, you know, be like, okay, am I mature enough? Am I in the right mind? Am I going to fall into the wrong groups? Do I know a good foundation of like who I am basically? Like, am I a good, truthful person? You know, different things like that, right? Because you're going to be with college people as well depending on what military school you go to mine we are mixed with college so there was freshmen in high school 14 year old girls with college people who were guys as well you know because I'm the female point of view here so there were little girls with like 22 year old guys okay like get that in your head you have to be very strong-minded you have to know who you are and yes, you're like, oh, well, I thought the military school was supposed to help me figure that out and all this. Yes, but that doesn't mean you could just walk into this, you know, like a deer in headlights. Doesn't mean you could just walk into this and be like, hi, like, oh my gosh, because people will probably use you. You know what I mean? Like, yes, military school is good, but sometimes the people in military school aren't good. Okay, so especially if you're away from home, like no parents and like the only adult supervision you have is like um like you don't have as much adult supervision you know so like if your parents aren't there you know things like that it's harder like you don't come home to your parents to talk to them about your day they don't get to see you you're basically on your own but there are there are adults there that can help you but it's just not the same you know so it's something that really grows you as a person and yes, you can go there like a deer in headlights, a little girl, and you can do these things and experience these things, you know. Um, the school that I went to, it was 11 guys to one girl. That was the ratio. And it's not, 
you know, something to take lightly. It is something to pay attention to. You know, if you are a female at this school, you're going to get so much attention from so many different guys and, you know, different people take it different ways. So some people can get very distracted. Some people can get hurt. Me personally, I kind of stayed away from that and I focused on my own thing. You know, I was there from my sophomore year to my senior year. So I graduated there. Yeah, there, there's my uh, there's my cat right there. Um, yeah, her name is Moody. It's really hard for me to describe um, like how it is when you're a young girl and you get a lot of attention from guys because I don't know. It's just, it's really hard. But just know, like, if you have a sense of value, if you know who you are, I suggest, yes, full force, go into military school. And if you have none of that, yes, go to military school. This is just a warning. Like, you know, if, if the military school is like that, where there's mostly guys and you're a girl, that there is going to be a lot of tension because they don't get to go off post and go visit all these girls, you know, like you're the only girls there for them. Just something to be careful about, okay? When you do go to this school, when I went the first year, um, I believe they changed it to like the first semester now, but when I went the first year, it was called our rat year. So recruit at training, because um, I was in JROTC, um, and I was a recruit at training, and basically that year, like, you have to do your hair in a braid, or it has to be like super short, like, but I have a hair in a braid, girl, we go. <laughs> No, but your hair has to be in a braid, you have to have your uniform right, and you have to like walk in straight lines and do all this specific, all these, these things you have to like pop to, which is like when you get, before you get to your dorm room area, you have to be like, uh, recruit a training, request per permission to uh, enter room, or it was something like that, I can't really remember fully. And like the person that's older than you, which has been there longer, who has like a senior position, like they could be like, even a private or you know it could be a corporal sergeant it could be an officer or anything like that and they'd be like yes you can have permission go in your room and you'd have to do that the whole year okay so like we, us recruits we would be like waiting be like okay is anyone up there no okay let me hurry up and go to my room even if you were like going to the bathroom <laughs> like uh can i go to the bathroom <laughs> you know so the next year is cadre you could be a cadre so basically you can, or cadre, no, I think cadre, but anyways, uh, you basically are the leader now. You are going to be teaching people how to better themselves, you know? You're going to be teaching them how to make their uniform look nice, how to clean their room, you know? I personally was a squad leader, so I had to check these people's rooms every morning for DRI, daily room inspection, and I had to be like, all right, check, 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 you're good. If they're not good, then you have to like do some disciplinary action, which includes push-ups, anything physical training, so PT basically. Um, and if someone wants to do something like super bad, then basically you have to call stick them, is what it's called, you have to stick them. And they have to, so if someone does something bad, basically they have their our fake rifles that we do with rifle drill which we do every Wednesday morning, by the way, and that's to help with parades and all that fancy stuff. And so basically, when they get in trouble, they have to like march around with their rifle and they can do that for hours. So that's nice. So yeah, there's a lot of kids that just don't care. They'd rather just walk around for hours with their rifle and, and do the wrong thing instead of just follow the rules. But me personally, I was like, no, not happening. I'm just going to do what I'm supposed to do because it already sucks having to wake up early and do all this stuff, you know? So basically, this place for me, like, really helped me to be more confident in myself, to break out of, like, a shell. Like, I was so shy, you know? I would keep to myself in school, um, and I dealt with all of these things, and this place really helped me, like... I used to like not want to do presentations in school and talk in front of people like I was like my number one fear and so at this school they asked me to be the person who speaks like in the parades so I'd be like the only one up there and I'd be like 
oh, like November troop or, you know, Kilo troop is passing by and this is the officer in charge and there'd be like generals like right behind me and I'd have to like salute to the flag and like do all this stuff perfectly and I was like the one talking and that's like the scariest thing for me. So it was definitely something that really changed my life and like I feel like I can better lead people, you know, like I'm able to... I don't know like it's hard for me to explain because it's something you have to experience you know this video like could go on and on and on um i definitely recommend going to a military school for anyone who wants to really break out of their shell and grow you know like i was so afraid of doing like pt you know like i was afraid that i wasn't going to be good enough like running or like push-ups or whatever and like whenever I was like running, you know, these two miles or however many miles we're running and I'm like getting tired, I'd have that person next to me like pushing me and being like, you could do this, come on, like push yourself. And like, oh my gosh, I don't want to get emotional, but like, it's so comforting. Like, it's so amazing. Like when you are afraid of something, but then you have this person here with you, or, you know, the cadre, the person in charge, or like maybe even your rap buddy, which is what we call the people who are in like the same year as you, um, like who first joined the school with you, you know, the rat year. Um, so whoever it is, you know, and I remember I would just be struggling and this person like, you can do it, you know, and to have that kind of support when you're doing something that you're afraid of is like so awesome to me you know like you really get so strong and like you grow into yourself you know whether you are a female or a male you grow into yourself physically mentally like it's so awesome and <clears throat> it's not for the people who are weak-minded it's not for the people who you know can't push themselves it's not for the people who aren't willing to make changes in their lives this is for people who want to make a change in their life. If you have that little spark inside of you that keeps you going, you can do it, you know? But um, it's definitely something that challenges you. And if you are up for a challenge, I know this is going to be good. <laughs> so if you are up for a challenge, look into military schools. Look into it. I, I know you can. Okay, if I can do it, you can. I was so afraid of like doing all the push-ups and running and all that stuff. But now I am so into fitness, like, whoo, blows my mind. I've changed. I've done a complete 360. Or no, it would be a 180. I did a 180, okay? I'd be looking that way. Imagine you looking that way. So it, can, it changed my life. It can change your life. I'm here to give you advice. If you guys have any more questions, just comment below, you know. Um, if anyone else is, has gone through this or has any advice they want to give, go ahead. Have conversations down there. So thank you very much for watching. I hope that you have an awesome day or night whenever you're watching this. And go ahead and check out my other videos. I'll be posting more. I've actually been staying consistent. I know, crazy. But no, I've been staying consistent, trying to post once, maybe twice a week. And I want to continue to post more. If you have any ideas what you want me to do, I will definitely get to it. And um, yeah, so I'll be posting soon again. So yeah, give me some support, man. Like this video if it helped you in any way. And if you want to keep seeing this amazing face and getting amazing advice, you know, subscribe. I'm giving advice on, um, like, I'm doing advice on, like, working out. I'm going to do advice on so many different things. I'm going to do some awesome videos for you guys. So, yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. I'll see you guys later. <laughs>